Well, thank you all. Uh, it's, I want to welcome you here to the first in-person meeting in almost four years uh, uh, for us. And uh, it's, it's just so great to have everybody together in one room uh, so we can really network well together. We've got really great speakers here and panelists. Uh, so I hope you'll interact with them um, when you get a chance in breaks. Um, We've got a packed schedule, so we've got to keep the time. So uh, questions are going to go by Slido. If you look at your name badge, you'll see there's a little scan on the back of it. Uh, if you use your phone and um, copy it, you'll be able to type in questions, which the moderators will have on their iPad. Um, if there's time, they'll answer it at that point in time. If not, um, they'll answer it um, afterwards, and we'll get back with you. But um, as I say, because the schedule is so tight, we really don't have the opportunity of having a lot of Q&A during a, a panel. Um, I think I'm the uh, relatively new CEO of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Um, we've uh, had a lot of changes in the last uh, couple of years. We're now a much smaller organization um, with new team. And um, you'll probably notice that um, the uh, logos changed a little bit. The dot man has altered just a little bit, just to sharpen it up. Um, the slogans changed a little bit. We went back um, to Hippocrates 2,500 years ago and um, put first do no harm. Because that's what we're all about. We want no harm in healthcare. And because of COVID, uh, we've now expanded that to be not just patients, and we're very patient-centered. A lot of patients and patients' families are here, and you're going to meet a lot through this two days. Um, but also healthcare workers. And uh, we want to protect the healthcare team as well as the patients and patients' families. Uh, so first, do no harm in healthcare. Uh, and we've redone the website. The website, those of you who've got on it in the past probably found that you had to do 20 clicks to get somewhere. Now, two clicks will get you anywhere. We've, uh, thanks to Taraj, who's here actually, uh, we've, we've totally abandoned the old website, it's got a new one, it's up to date, and uh, it's very user friendly. So please log on and uh, use it uh, when you can. Um, so, uh, we're going to have some small breaks um, in each session, about 10 minutes. That's not time to get everybody out of the room and back in. Um, so if you need to take a break, uh, just please try and uh, walk out quietly. The restrooms are very close by. There's coffee out there. Um, there's water out there. And uh, you know, please use your own time when you need to do that. Uh, for those of you who are having dinner with us tonight, it's going to be out on the lawn and weather permitting, and I think the weather forecast is good. It may be a little bit cool, but they've got heaters out there, so um, that uh, should be warm enough. Uh, and after the dinner, we're all going to come back into this room and we're going to watch a movie. And Steve Burrows has um, developed, made this movie called Bleed Out. It's all related to his mother, who had a major complication after hip surgery. He's going to be there. He's going to answer questions on it afterwards with Dave Mayer. Uh, and uh, so please come back here at 8, 8.30 to watch the movie. Um, it's going to go on to 10 o'clock, so it'll be a late night. But um, it's, it's a really a beautifully made movie. And I think you'll find it uh, very educational, as well as uh, really what we're all about, which is trying to make our healthcare system safe. So with that, um, I'm going to introduce Joe Chiani. Joe founded this movement um, 10 years ago, and this is our 10th anniversary. And uh, that is so great to come back in person for the 10th anniversary. And uh, Joe had this idea about patient safety. He realized that uh, our hospitals weren't safe havens that we all thought they were. And, and most people still do but harm does occur in our hospitals, and we have to stop it, we've got to prevent it. And I think I'm very optimistic that coming into this second decade of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, 
we're going to be able to make a difference because things have grown with us. There are mo many more patient safety organizations. The World Health Organization now have uh, got a big safety, patient safety initiative going on globally. Technology is changing. We can now get real data. We know what the outcomes are in hospitals, and that's going to increase, and it's going to be timely data. And we're all humans, and we're all a little bit competitive. And I think uh, we react to data. If you show me my data is not as good as your data, I'm going to do something. And I think this is really going to make a difference. And so I'm very optimistic now that we're coming into a 10-year span where we're really going to see a difference in healthcare. So I think Joe's goal is uh, going to materialize in this next 10 years. And uh, Joe, for those of you who don't know, uh, started a company here in California uh, related to patient safety and uh, started with uh, making pulse oximeters um, really work. And uh, he's just developed from that, but his focus has always been on patient safety. And this is his dream that we ought to uh, have a patient safety foundation to make healthcare safer. So with that, I'm going to introduce Joe, ask him to come up and uh, say a few remarks uh, for us here. Joe, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you.